compact. In this video, we are going to see how to make this exhaust manifold in Autodesk Inventor. Here, you are going to learn new things such as how to use a 3D sketch and shell option and some dimensional tools. First, we will start with creating a 2D sketch. First, I will draw all the reference lines. I am going to use the coincident constraint to coincide these two points. And now, I will add dimensions. When you click on dimension and try to find the length of this inclined line, you can see it shows either the vertical or the horizontal distance. To find the inclined length, right click and you can see the option called align. Just click on it and I am going to enter the distance. Now, I am going to make these two as construction slide. I am going to draw a circle of diameter 100 and 30 mm. Now, I am going to use the line to draw a tangent. Now, it is not fully tangent, so I will use the tangent constraints to apply. Now, I am going to use these two and mirror it using the mirror option and I am going to choose the mirror line and then apply. Now, I am going to use the trim tool to trim the excess lines. I will add the dimensions, it has been erased. And it shows over here, it is not fully constrained that one more dimension is needed. That is because this height is not defined properly and it does not matter since it is a construction line. If you want it to be fully constrained, we will just add a dimension of say 100 mm. Now again, I am going to add here circles of 16 mm. Here also 16 mm. And here 65 mm. Now it is fully constrained. We will click on finish sketch. Now we are going to use the extrude tool and extrude it at a distance of 5 mm. Now I am going to use the rectangular pattern option to create a pattern of this. So in the features select this and in the direction we will choose the x direction. We will create total 4 at a distance of 120 spacing, 120 mm. Now I am going to create a plane, 120 mm offset. And I am going to create again a 2D sketch. I am going to hide the work plane I have created this line just for the reference I will make it as a construction line This length is 120 mm
I'm going to create a polygon that is a three sided figure with this as the center. Now I'm going to apply a horizontal constraint and I'll add dimensions. Right, I'll make it as 140. Now I am going to use the fillet to apply the fillet. I am going to make it has 15. Now I am going to create a circle 65 mm diameter and are there again other three circles of 16 mm in diameter. Now it is fully defined. I will make this and this as construction line. And now we'll click on finish sketch and again I am going to use the option called extrude at a distance of 5 mm. Now we are going to make a 3D sketch. Just click on the line and here to locate the center point just click on the circle where you, from where you need to start by default the center point automatically comes and here you can see there are three different planes you have to choose the plane in which you are going to sketch I am going to choose this plane and I am going to draw a line of say 120 mm now again I draw a line from this and I am going to choose this plane. I will draw at a distance of say 65 or 70. And I am going to join these two lines. Now in 3D sketch there is no option called fillet. Here there is an option bend. I am going to use the option bend 50 mm. For this, I will give 80 and for this, I will give 50. And now we will click on finish sketch. Now we will again create a 2D sketch. I am going to choose this plane and I am going to project this geometry and we will click on finish sketch. Now we will use the sweep tool, by default the profile is selected and just need to select the curve, that is the path and then click on OK. Similarly for this also we need to create again a 3D sketch and we will choose the line, locate the center point and choose the plane which we are going to draw, 120 mm, again line. at a distance of 60 mm sorry 65 and from this point I'm going to select these two and I'm going to change the view to wireframe. I'm going to change this as around 80 mm.
Now I will use the option called bend 50 mm and now we will click on finish sketch. Now again we will create a 2D sketch. I am going to choose this plane and I am going to project this geometry. Now again we will use the sweep command by default the Profile is selected, we just need to choose the curve. And now we will make another 2D sketch. I am not giving any dimensions since I am going to draw the plane just for the making mirror part and we will click on finish sketch. Now I am going to create a plane using a three point. You can see the plane has been created. I don't need this 3D sketch so I am going to change the visibility that is I am going to hide it. Now I am going to use these two sweep and use the option mirror and, and I am going to choose this as a mirror plane and click on ok. Now I am going to hide this work plane and change back the view to shaded with edges. Now we are going to use a new tool called shell. We'll choose the open the shell tool and click on remove face and select the faces you need to remove the inside material. And I'm going to choose this as the option both it will remove from inside as well as the outside and I'm going to give thickness of 5 mm and then click on OK. Now we are going to create a fillet. I am going to give radius of 10 mm for this one. And again I am going to give radius of 2 mm for this outer edge. And now we will see the, we will see how to apply material to it. And I am going to change the style to realistic. You can see that the exhaust manifold has been made. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe my channel for more videos like this and comment below for any suggestions.